Have you been stretched out of your comfort zone with the new NAR settlement agreement and moving forward with the real estate industry? In today's video, it will go a little bit longer. I give you seven tips how you can approach your uh, uncertainty, how you can better handle to being stretched out of your comfort zone and grow and move forward with the seven steps. And if you are afraid and don't even can wrap your head around it, then let me know down below. And I'm happy to have a 20 minute conversations with you where we are taking a look where you are right now, where you want to go and how you can get there. No sales pitch, nothing. It's an honest conversation from a real estate broker to an, another agent so that you can move forward with the new uh, settlement agreement. Hello, Grüß Gott and guten Tag. My name is Annette Block. I am a real estate broker and your favorite real estate marketing mentor where I helped over 2,000 agents uh, with video marketing and cost-effective advertising so that they can run a business on their terms and become the number one agent in their community. And the NAR agreement just brought out will bring changes to the industry industry and many are right now stretched out of their comfort zone but you grow when you are stretching and going into discomfort that is where you are stretching even when you think everything will be the same take a look at that bend when i'm stretching it it's stretched right but when i put it back it looks the same but it is not the same. The molecules have, have changed and the stretches have changed. It gets easier and easier. Even if it goes back and looks the same, it will never be the same. And that will be with our real estate industry. It probably looks the same because many are saying real estate will be done the same way, but it will not be the same. Especially when I see all the comments out there, which sometimes are a little bit arrogant because that reflects how we did real estate for the past 100 years because we as agents was thought that the agent is the center of the transaction and that the agent is the most important in a real estate in this has changed that has changed for a couple of years when you understood that it is not about you but it's all about your client avatar your buyer your seller and your community they are the sender and they now have understood that they are the sender and that is where the change is going to happen and where you want to make the changes moving forward. So I understand many are uh, afraid there is fear because fear of the unknown. But let me give you seven, seven tips how you can go and move forward about moving into a new phase in the real estate industry. So the first thing I want you to think about, be yourself. Be yourself, take all the information. Have an honest conversation with yourself, how you want to move forward and be present right now. Be present with your buyer and seller. Listen what they have to say. There is a lot of talk out there, arrogant talk. Industry will not change. Business will be done how it's always be done. But I promise you there will be changes coming and they are significant. So be yourself. Don't get into the hype. Listen what your community, your client avatar is saying and be present and answer their question. That is as easy as it can be. The next step, step is I want you to think about your desire. Do you want to move forward? Do you want to grow? Do you want to become a better real estate agent, team leader or broker? Or you want to become the number one agent in your community? Is that your desire? Or do you say, ah, it's all too much and you want to go out? So make sure that you understand your desire and the third step is why. 
why you want to achieve, why you want to adapt. Do you want to become a better real estate agent, team leader, or broker? Do you want to become the number one agent in your community? Do you want to better serve your community, your buyer and seller? Get clear why you desire what you want to get and what your desire is. Then, then you know why you want to do what you want to do, then get into the momentum. Now that you understand, you want to move forward, you need to move forward. Now you want to get into momentum and learn all about the changes that are coming. Have the conversation with your broker. Have the conversation with your attorney. Figure out what you can do to better serve your seller and your buyer. How we are dealing with the new structure. How we get paid as a buyer's agent, as a seller's agent. And what concession we can make so that the avatar, your buyer and seller, gets served best. It's no longer about the transaction and you as the agent. Now it's all about your client avatar. It has been for many years. Many have disregarded this and look where we are right now. Our buyer and seller, our community just became a sender in real estate. So then you have all the information. When you had that conversation, now I want to be focused. Now you know what to do. Your attorney told you, give me something I can write you or your broker, whatever you are choosing. Now work on it and focus to get the paperwork together, to get all into the educational classes, probably will be out there with your brokerage, with your MLS, with your mortgage broker, connect with your teams, with your lenders, with your appraisals, with your title companies. So now it's the time to focus on it so that you'll be ready when the changes are coming down the road in July. And then... When you have all this done, you have to tackle your fear. You are fearing the new because you don't know. Nobody knows how we will approach it, but you can be, when you are present, when you understand what is going to happen, when you understand where you want to go, where what your desire is, why you want to go, why you want to do what you want to do, and when you have the momentum going that it is where you want to focus. We have now more March, April, May, June, July. We have three months to focus on the importance how we want to move forward. Talk with your brokers, talk with your attorneys, talk and get the information together so that you are prepared and focused what is coming. Now, when you know what you have to do, you tackle your fear. So don't be all one big step. Do small steps. The first small step maybe is to learn about what you can do, what your options are. Now break down your fears. You don't know what, what it's all about. Now learn. Now what can you do? Learn. Take the next step. Take small micro steps so that you can tackle your fear and you are now operating in your discomfort zone and still growing. You are panicking right now because you don't understand anything. The steps you are thinking about are too big. Your brain cannot work what is coming. That is why you are going in panic mode and that's why you are right now stuck a little bit. See it like this. You are the center of a circle and you are right now in your comfort zone. When we are stretching our bend a little bit, now that is where we are getting out of our comfort zone and moving into discomfort. You are growing in your discomfort and comfort zone when you are stretching yourself a little bit. When you are taking a step too big out into the world, now that is where you panic. So break down your fear. Why are you fearing the changes? What can you do? How can you get better? Talk with your broker, with your attorneys, with your, take the education, listen to yourself and take the small steps you can take so that you can get 
into the new world of real estate. And then at the end of the day, don't take it so seriously. Be yourself. Be fun. Don't go out there and panic and be afraid and put your head into the sand. That is not the time right now. Then you are taking it step by step by step. And the most important, you understand it's not about us realtors. It's not about our associations. It's not about your broker. It's not about the transaction. It's all about your client avatar, your buyer and seller, your community. If you understand this, you will have a smooth pathway to go through. So let's put it all together. Be yourself, be present, listen to the conversation right now out there, how your buyer and seller taking the information and interpreting the information. Now tap in your desire. Do you want to move forward or you want to get out? Then talk about yourself. Why? Why you want to move forward? Why you want to move good? Get out. Next thing, put out the momentum. If you want to stay in business, learn about it. Put the steps into place. You need to place. So, and make it important to you. We have three months. Focus on the changes. Focus how you can get better. Tackle your fears. Take understand your fears and put them into place what is the next step for you and then everything will become much much easier you can be again yourself don't take everything so seriously and make your community your buyer and seller your client avatar the sender of your uh, 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 make it all about them and you will be well off into the future